What's up guys, welcome back. My name is Sean and today... Oh, who loves the flow of this? Shoo oh. up! The emotion, the power... And then it just explodes! <laughs> okay. What's up guys, welcome back, my name is Shannon, and today we're going to be reacting to Vicha's XO Call Me. So guys, we are back with some more Vicha, and we are getting into the B-side of their official debut single, I guess it is, not really an album, but a single. We already got into Girls of the Year, which is such a good song, it's super fresh, it's perfect for what I feel is the, the, the Western market kind of music, and it, it just... The music video as well is super super cool and, and kind of shows this this dream reenactment and how they are reaching that dream and it just fits perfectly with the idea and the way that Vicha was created. Now we have EXO Call Me which has a special video and I'm excited to see first of all what exactly special video is going to be you know meaning for this group because I feel like it's it's really a different definition per group but I'm also excited to see well just get some more music from Vicha. I know we also have some some pre your stuff to check out so we'll be checking those out as well for now though we have exo call me let's get right into it okay it might be like a self video thing it seems like filmed in la Nice vocal tone. She reminds me a little bit of Chetty from Luna or Ally Circle or Artemis. Mm. I love those ribbons in her hair. Hey. Mm. She's got such a nice, like, a, a, a mature voice. Damn it, like a. Oh, that, oh, that vocal position was so. Love her vocals on the beginning there and then. Okay, so we kind of do have two rappers coming in on this group. In Gus of Dia, we only had the first girl rapping. Hey! Love that background vocal! Oh, I love that. The middle, like, the girl running out there, her top was, was dope. Oh, wait. The, the girl in front, her, her top is dope. That was Vicha's XO Call Me, a really, really cool song here by, uh, by Vicha. It's got a super nice vibe to it that is, well, it's very, very down to earth, first of all. It feels, it feels not over the top at all. It feels like it's a song you'll be able to listen to. Well, on the day that you'll be able to go to the beach like them, listen to it, and kind of just vibe out and, and have a, a really, really happy emotion coupled along to that vibe, which I really, really like. I'm always a, a big fan of music that can kind of just make you happy or also music like this that I feel like one thing is making you happy but also feel like this can just you know 
let you stay within the mood that you are in. It doesn't necessarily have to make you happy. It lets you stay in the mood. A lot of the time, music is going to change your mood, right? If you listen to a sad song, you're gonna become a little sad. If you listen to like an, I don't know, like an angry song, you're gonna be, you're gonna be a little mad. But for this one, it feels like you can use it and utilize it in so many different regards that you don't need to change your emotion to listen to it, which I, I really, really appreciate. But also just the vocal power that is shown throughout these different vocal tones, the progressions and everything is super cool. I actually feel like this song was a lot better at conveying their indiv individualities within that um, vocal tones compared to Girls of the Year, even though I really like Girls of the Year as well. So love that as a song. But yeah, guys, that was a video with XO Call Me. And I gotta say, having watched this uh, video already with just these two songs we've listened to, to be fair, I've listened to Ghost of the Year quite a, quite a bit since I did my reaction to it. But it feels like we are already getting a good sense of what their the kind of individual individual tones are like and everything. Like we have this, um, I think she's like the tallest girl at least in the group. She has this very, very mature voice. We have two rappers now. It seems like we actually have two. Uh, in the beginning, I thought it was only one one rapper because in Girls of the Year it was only one but it seems like two of them actually joined in on the rap the uh, being at well the addition being the girl with like the, the ribbons in her uh, in her braided hair which was super super cool as well the girl who starts off singing also has a gorgeous vocal tone that I'm really really liking and I'm excited to see how she's going to be kind of utilizing that and how that's going to be evolving as it has this this slight kind of mysterious hint to it I feel like it could be used in many different like occasions and I'm just excited to see what else the these six girls are going to be all about. Obviously, as I said, we have, I think, two more songs to check out from them, both of which are pre-debut, so I'm super excited for that as well. But now, let me know what you guys thought about Vichas XO. Call me down in the comments below, and I guess I'll see you guys next time.